के के एन दारुवाला स्पोयम द अनरेस्ट ऑफ डिजायर डिस्क्राइब्स अ मैंस इनेबिलिटी टू सप्रेस अ डिजायर और टू कीप इट इन सीक्रेट अंडर सम अज्यूम्ड एक्सप्रेशन ऑन हिज फेस अ स्ट्रांग डिजायर मेक्स अ मैन समवट अनइजी ही मे ट्राई टू कीप हिज डिजायर हिडन इन हिज हार्ट बट इट वुड मैनिफेस्ट इटसेल्फ इन सम वे थ्रू द एक्सप्रेशन इन हिज आईज the nature of his desire would not of course become known to anybody but the fact that there is a desire in a man's heart would definitely become known to others who happen to see him and the expression in his eyes a man may wear a mask or may throw some sort of disguise over the expression of his face but he would not be able to mask the expression in his eyes A man may put his heart's desire under some heavy weight like that of a slab of cement or a large heap of bones but his eyes would betray the fact that there is a desire in his heart a man may keep his mouth shut but the desire in his heart would somehow escape his heart and enter into his eyes and thus become visible a man may adopt any other methods which may occur to him to disguise the state of his heart but it would still show itself in the eyes a man may draw all sorts of pictures with a piece of charcoal on the walls of a cave in order to give a false representation of his desire but it would never quit his heart and would even haunt him in his dreams this is a poem with a strong psychological interest it describes a man's incapacity to suppress a desire or to keep it hidden under some assumed expression on his face a desire would never fail to manifest itself through the expression in a man's eyes of course anybody looking at such a man may not be able to understand or guess the nature of his desire but he would definitely come to know that there is a desire in his heart this fact would become known to him by his merely looking into the eyes of the man concerned the eyes would provide some sort of evidence of the existence of a desire in the man's heart the idea expressed in this poem is an abstract one but much concrete imagery has been used in the poem eyes manifesting the unrest of desire a mask being thrust upon a face the salt blood being probed with an insistent tongue a desire being pressed down with the weight of cement slabs or coils of bones bison and stag being traced on a wall with charcoal all these are concrete pictures to build which the poet has used metaphorical language